day, lords and ladies of the internet. I am your host, the Power of Fox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I welcome you back to Don't Starve, where... Well, I've been given a couple of recipes on how to, like, heal myself and such, and one of those recipes first involves some butterfly wings. That there's a tier three. That is a tier three. Spider nest. That's bad. Aha! Butterfly! I found you! Spiders, screw off! Well, it looks like my plant has grown. Isn't there a special weapon involving this meat? And if there is, how much of it do I need? There it is. Me ham meat. Ham bat. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. I think I cooked the other meat. Well. What are you going to do? Well. My bulb definitely grew up. And I've now got some leafy meat again. Ooh, and a spider gland. So nice for me. But it did kill a couple of pigs. I wish it killed a couple more. I should have left it. So. I need butterfly wings to make this special recipe I've been given. Aha! There's one. There's a butterfly. Come on, butterfly. Go to the flowers. I could have attacked it then. And it'd be none the wiser. There we go! Butterfly wings! Then I need a vegetable. How do I not have any vegetables? Did I just hear a what am I call it? In addition, I've also been told I need to make gold stuff. So, do I hear that? If I hear it, I'm pretty sure it's because I don't want to hear it. Oh, I have a shovel. What the hell am I doing then? Well, there are wolves around here, apparently. And tomorrow, I'm going exploring. Can the wolves just appear and attack me already if you're going to attack? And as I have been told, dig up the stumps, and then a tree is a complete plank. An odd concept, but entirely true. Spider, screw off. I am busy. I did not give you permission to attack me. I am just trying to de dig up a bunch of trees to lessen the deforestation. Holy hell, everything's on fire! How do I stop it all from burning? Did I lose anything? I mean, it didn't burn my backpack. I think I'm good. Also, I've been told I need to make that beehive. Or whatever it was. So where and what is it? A bee box. I need a honeycomb and four bees and two planks. Well, one does have to wonder how one is meant to get such things. If the ra if it could now be daylight for us, thank you very much. I suppose we can go off and go and try and make it daylight. No, oh, that's not what I mean. How do you improve the environment? Plant trees. Totally not just to get rid of the pine cones. Can I cook pine cones? No, I can add them as fuel. Well, we are going to find some bees and some vegetables and stuff like that. Most importantly, we are going to go and find a vegetable so that we can use these butterfly wings. It's raining. Ah, oh, that's nice. Nothing, nothing, nothing's wrong with a little rain. Frog, don't even try. I am not interested in you. So I guess the main question is, is how the blaze bloody blazes do I even get close to capturing some bees? And in order to do that, I'm pretty sure I need that net. And somewhere around this area, I found the bee corpse. There it is. And then we pick up a net. So now I've equipped a net. And I can use a net to catch things, I think. So we are going to go and catch some bee, hopefully. That almost hit me. Catch bee. One bee. Two bee. Or not two bee. You should have seen that joke coming. 
so many butterfly wings. But apparently the next thing I need to attack, I need is a honeycomb. Honeycomb. Excellent. Time for us to start making tracks. How do we make tracks? We head over to our little transport machine. Additionally, I have two honey, three honey, or four honey. And three honey plus some meat apparently makes me some, what am I call it? Something nice and healy. And I could use, really use the healy bit. So off we move. Spiders, you are more than like, spiders and bats, you are more than like, welcome to kindly screw off. Now I do have some legs on me, but most importantly, I have some monster meat. Now apparently, meat plus four honey should make that. Next, what do I need next? I need some planks. A bee box. I'm just gonna place the bee box right in the middle of everywhere. Bees! Bees, the, uh, the character proclaims. Oh, well, that looks nice. Honey nuggets. All right, well, I've got 60 health and 64 food. How much does this heal? About 40. Yeah. 20 health and about whatever food. Not too bad. I've also been told that the divining rod that I require is wherever the hell it is. The divining rod is used to find things like this crack thing and this ring thing, which are things I need in order to improve the long improve in the long run. In addition, I should I should make everything out of gold rather than every anything else. Spider, if you even dare. Oh, my petals melted. I can eat rot. Why the bloody hell would I eat rot? Okay, well, things in my life are beginning to slowly but surely improve, which are all which is always nice. But I don't know what to do. I need beefalo. I need beefalo for farming. Tried heading north. There's nothing. Maybe uh, I can't head west. Maybe I should just try heading south. Yeah, I see you spiders. I'm not interested. I'm trying to go places. That looked weird. I should probably deal with the spiders before I choose what to deal with that. do with that. Bad spiders. Go to hell. Right. Well then. There's apparently... Totally normal tree. Is it watching me? I kind of want to chop it for the sake of chopping it, but I don't- I know that's probably going to be the worst thing I can possibly do. And I am meant to be all about survival. And survival does involve actually not doing stupid things, like, you know, attacking something that you probably shouldn't be attacking. But unfortunately, none of this really helps with the situation at hand, which is the, the distinct lack... Well, that's bad. Can I even attack that? Apparently I can. Why do you look like that? Well, it's gone away now. Chester, do you actually have anything in you right now? There's my meat and my carrots. I thought I had some meat. Yeah, it will be getting dark soon. Let's go home. Or at least my plant's grown up again. I need pigskin. That seems to be a factor I really am missing of things right now. Butterfly wings, a carrot, and two random things which aren't meat. That's what I've been told is required in order to make... What am I call it? Something very nice. I was told the bee box would make more... more honey than I'd ever need. I'm not noticing the honey right now. Can I plant flowers? Hello there. What do you happen to be? A butter muffin. 
That was quite nice and quite quick to eat as well. Let's just keep cooking some of those. I really need some gears to make the fridge thing. I just need to make a bunch of food and go exploring. Am I going to have to add another, bl another log? I don't want to add another log. Come on, fire. You can live. See? You live. You know what? The, the problem with this is I always forget Chester's a chest. Because I always just consider Chester a chest. A pet, not a chest. I should put something in it before it goes out. It will be fine. Because I'm going to eat another butter muffin. We're going to get some health. We're going to be on full... A lot of... We're going to be full on hunger. We're doing perfectly fine. Now I need another drumstick. You know what? I wonder what happens if I put two butterfly wings in there. Will that still come up with butter muffins? Or will that have just wasted the my stuff for me? Here, Pig King. Have something, something that you like. And give me that gold. Now if you excuse me, before I leave to... On my massive quest... I am going to make sure I've got another spear. Right. So, I suspect all of my meat and stuff to be rotten by the time I get home. And I have accepted this. So, it's why I'm on the quest for... On a quest for gears and beefalo. And I think... The best way to get any of that is beyond this area. That th seems to be a defining point in this in this current map of mine. So, I feel as though I should wait till tomorrow. You know what? Can't I cook? I can't put leafy meat in the cook pot, crock pot. Okay. Well, I'm just going to put all my meat in the crock pot then, just because then it's cooking. And then I'm going to take all my seeds and cook them. Oh, but I guess I should probably start tree chopping. Just to make sure I got a bunch of logs ready. You say it's getting dark, but we still got plenty of hours in the day. It's just a little dim right now is all. That's why I'm fully using up all of my axe. Kebobs! It looks like I made some kebobs. Excellent. My axe has two miserable percent left. There. I'm not dealing with an axe with only two percent. Spiders, stop thinking you have free reign over the place. It's rather rude. Like I said before, we have a bit of a spider infestation. But for the most part, it looks like they're just leaving me alone. But I'm glad I grabbed the lot, the... The one I'm gonna call it. Excuse you, spider. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. I am pretty sure I made that clear. Let's cook this leafy meat. For cooked leafy meat. Let's see how much goodness that gives me. It barely gave me any, but it's better than nothing. Shove my monster meat away. Shove all my newly acquired logs and whatnot away. What does a beekeeper hat do? Protection against angry bees. No duh. Look, fire, I don't care if it's raining. You are not... Well, poor Chester. It's a good thing it's ra it's raining to put out that fire. Um, fire, you're almost there. Just, yep, that's right. Right! Now we go on a quest for Beefalo. Just as the fire dies. I'll be back when I can be bothered to be back. But I can already tell I'm going to need some grass because I've got none. Like, at all. Not even in any of my chests. So 
So pick the grass, please. We're going to need it for torches at the very least. That does not look like a normal rabbit. What's up with that rabbit? Well, that's a thing. There's penguins now. Hey, stupid little... There we go. Give me your drumsticks. Why is the music changed? Something bad is happening, isn't it? It still calls it a rabbit, so... And you know what? It does, to me, appear like it might be starting to try and get cold. So... Let's just make sure I have a couple of rabbits. There we go. Two rabbits. What is with the bloody penguins? You know what's also nice? The fact I do actually have a... Like, little base over here. Which I can use to, like, store things. I might not have a crockpot over here. Like, I feel that like maybe I should set one up. Just to have two bases. You know, what does it take to make a crockpot? Charcoal. And cut stone. Yeah, not getting any of that. But this place. Whatever the bloody hell this place is. Seems like my goal on how I am escaping. Or getting things I need. Of course there's a bunch of bloody spiders. Right. Well. Here we are. Let's just... Add the last of my fuel. And I suppose I should probably cook everything, shouldn't I? I really want to make these rabbit earmuffs, though. I know it's a huge waste of berries and all this stuff. But I need to eat. Besides, berries are good for 12 food. Which is pretty good. We're on a quest for one thing and one thing over only. Beefaloes so that they can poop. Maybe I need a razor. Do I use a razor to shave beefalo? I need to prototype these things, do I? Well, let's prototype them. They've now been prototyped. Ooh. Isn't that, like, one of the best weapons? Sweet. I see those tiny, those wobbly things on the floor now. It looks like an offering to the beast. A pig head. Well. Let's just follow the pig heads, I suppose. We might find something that we need. I mean, it looks like it's already late in the winter and I don't have any way to make f food. Well, that's bad. That looked bad. That looked bad. Let's just leave that alone now. Chester, come. We want nothing to do with that man. He is clearly Scottish and a big old grouch. She can't deal with a Britishman like myself. Such is common with the Scottish. They attack us British all the time. Well, there's a pig man out in the middle of nowhere. A random wormhole. Let's go through it. How much sanity do we take for doing that? Fifteen. That's barely anything. And that has taken me to the other side of the world. Jesus Christ. Talk about middle of nowhere. And things are certainly getting... Bluer. And blue normally involves cold. So it makes me think, winter is coming. Oh, hello there, little, little idiot creature. Come, you see the berries, right? Yep. Tentacle. Definitely better. That looks bad. That is a bad sign. Getting late. It will be dark soon. 
will it now? Well, here we have a bunch of bees. We're just following the path because it's quicker. There's a box thing. Here's another wormhole. What's in this one? Where's this one take us? Back to the other side! Activate Maxwell's door. Doorway to adventure. If you die during adventure mode, you will return back to this portal, where you can restart the adventure. You're about to step into a long, odious journey to find Maxwell. You need to survive five worlds, each randomly generated to present a new challenge. Huh. I have to. Nope, no, I don't, no, I don't. Bye. Nope, we're not playing this. I've left. I've learnt my mistake. And that's another Warus of some sort. I should just be really exploring these grassy areas, you know? Just because these are what contain what I'm potentially looking for. Although it's probably too late to find beefalo now, because there's no way to make farms now, is there? I finally found you. There's like... Two of you. And you have a cub. But I finally found you. Poop more. Okay, that one hurt. So, uh... There we go. I can't stop that. Okay, maybe I can. The earmuffs are working. My health has stopped decreasing. That's good. Someone tells me I'm going to need to ca capture a lot more rabbits just to survive the winter. What other special things were there to be able to survive the winter? I can only tell that if I go home. Oh, look. Fireflies. Don't I need f fire flies? Would you look at that? It's snowing. Well, I'm glad I have this huge bushy beard. Why didn't I just go this way? I could have found beefalo ages ago. Okay, I can't stop that. There's no way for me to survive that. Okay, I see one way I can survive my current situation. And that is by jumping through here. Like the madman that I am. And heading for Maxwell's door. I am prepared. Let's go. Let's find ourselves a Maxwell. Generating world. Generating world St Winston's beard. I think that's a critical one, that. Chapter 1 of 5, The King of Winter. Oh, you found my portal, did you? You'd think you would have learned your lesson by now. Hmm, let's try something a little more challenging, shall we? Okay... I have now learned how to make a life-giving amulet. In addition, I have a little bit of charcoal. Explain to me... How I'm meant to survive. I do start with a bunch of logs, apparently. What's this? A thermal stone? I could manipulate its temperature. How? This makes no sense to me. How am I meant to do anything right now? You plonk me in the middle of winter and you expect me to live. Is that it? 
I feel like I'm just going to need to cut, keep running back and forth between the fire, me and the fire. Well, there's some beefalo. That's a good start. So the challenge of this particular map is the fact we're in the middle of winter. I'm guessing. And because we're in the middle of winter, we need to constantly be next to a fire. And in order to be constantly next to a fire, we need to be constantly making wood. But we also need to eat, which means we need to constantly be on the move as well. I also suspect it's colder at night. Because that would make sense. Back to the fire, back to the fire. We love the fire. The fire's our friend. Let's just feed the fire a little. There we go. We start with four nightmare fuel, do we? Oh, mighty kind of you. Oh, more beavalo. Excellent. Can I, in fact, do anything with them, though? Can I shave them? At least it's said if I die, I'm going to just respawn in the other place. Can I make shears, or do I need a science machine to do that? I suppose should be the great question. I need a science machine. Great. To make that, I need gold. And stone. I don't have any stone either. I haven't seen anything, actually, relating to anything resembling stone. So I'm guessing that thermal stone just naturally picks up heat or something. And it'll eventually cool over time. Or something along those lines. That's actually producing an awful lot of light. Hmm. I wonder how much I've buggered myself by even trying this. If I get gold, I can get a life prevent giving amulet. That's pretty good. I can't tell if that that thermal stone right there is losing heat or generating it more. In addition, I should probably cook some of these things. Because not only is my health looking a little bad, well, so is my food. All right, Thermal Stone, we're out here. Let's gather some more wood before we go. And then we move. We're on a quest to find stone. Really? Where can I find stone? Oh, can the penguins just screw off? There's too many of you guys. Aha! Rocks! At least a rock. I'm guessing the thermal stone is... just naturally generates heat over time. Yeah, if it's near a heat source... it'll charge up with heat. Feather hat. What the bloody hell would that be for? I mean, I'll grab it and wear it for whatever reason, but... Too, far, too long away from the, the rock. Okay, Thermal Stone, you've charged up. We... Need some food. There we go. It'll be late soon. It's gonna. It's getting dark. Great. Is this world meant to be perpetual winter out of interest? 
Which, if it is, it makes sense why they gave me a thermal stone right off the back then. Still doesn't solve the issue, I still need gold. I'm gonna have to set up a campfire and just prepare for the night soon. That soon is probably gonna be extremely soon. Let's just make sure we get somewhere where we can spend the time chopping trees. Here we go, this works. Good place, good place. There we go. One, campfire. If the thermal rock could stop complaining now. Life in the frozen wastes. So it seems. So it seems, chap. Can't carry any more. Well then. Well, I guess we probably don't need ashes. Or rot. 99, 113. That, I don't know what that did. I'm pretty sure I lost health then. Given the fact it's the middle of winter, finding food is obviously going to be the hardest part of this entire endeavor. But not apparently as hard as finding some goddamn gold. We just need to make sure we gather anything and everything that we can. And just be ready for dawn. Because we need rocks. Or gold. And to get gold, we need to figure out where it is. And to do that, I think we should just go over and follow the path. We have a lot of logs. We can just keep making fires for a while. Who knows how far we'll get. Although I definitely reckon we're going to starve to death before the cold gets us because we can't find any bloody gold. Doesn't matter, I can't find gold to be able to make a spear to be able to properly fight them. Oh, but thank the lords, we found more berries and carrots! Two axe swings kills one of those guys. Good. Glorious. Cook it! Rom nom 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 nom. Chop down all the trees. We're chopping all on the trees. Because the trees give us life in the form of heat warmth. It's a shame I can't just take all the stuff I find in this place with me. Back to the home. Right, Thermal Stone, you have one goal. Warm up. So you can warm me up. That happened fast. Alright, let's go then. I mean, if we don't have to stick around, we shouldn't. We can cook in the night. Where the blasted hell is any gold? Hmm. This is getting quite concerning. What the bloody hell is this? It's more of a pyramid than an obelisk. Is it now? You say so. Well, at least we've made camp by a nice bunch of trees. So that we can just, you know, chop the forest down. As we prepare ourselves for night. My thermal stone is glowing red hot. Just how we like it. You know, it's all well and good, this game saying, Hey, here's how to make rabbit earmuffs. By the way, you're not going to find a rabbit for, for bloody miles. Good luck. You know, I don't need ashes. If I need ashes, I can easily make myself a torch and burn down a forest. I could say the same about rot, but... Actually, I've never used rot. Gold! We found gold! At long last, we can start making ourselves a permanent base. Although I have no idea how we'll do that, considering there is... 
Like, no! Place which can give me enough food. Hmm. I think I've realized an error in my judgment of needing this science machine so much. Um, yeah. Well, everyone! I'm beginning to think this is a good place to stop today's episode. So, yeah. Let me know what you think down below, and what you think I should possibly do next, because I have no freaking clue. Because I seem to be absolutely stumped and lost right now. So yeah, let's just find a place to plonk down a fire camp. A campfire for my my achy breaky thermal stone. Well, Arion, it look, as I said, this is a good place to stop it here. So let me know where what I should do now. Where you think I should make a base in this in this frozen hellscape? Well, everyone, it looks like I'm all out of time for today's episode. So what can I say other than thank you all for joining me today? I've been your host. The Pyrofox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I hope to see you all again next time. But I'm afraid that until then, it is time for me to bid the all farewell, good day, and finally, good night.